All right, today we're going to be going over how to use the linear pattern tool with an on shape. Um, so for today, we're going to be creating um, this two by eight uh, Lego plate. Um, so we're going to start off with creating our front face here. So we're going to go back to our on shape. We're going to sketch on our front face. We're going to click on our front face. Um, I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. Um, we know that from our Lego dimensioning sheet that our plates are 3.2 millimeters tall. So we're going to go, um, I'm actually going to change my workspace units as well. Um, so I'm going to go to millimeter. Um, so all I have to do is now type in um, my millimeters. Um, let's click on this. Let's do a new one. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and we are going to uh, this one is, we're going to do 7.8 times 8 because um, we have 8 studs. So that is 62.4 millimeters. And then we are going to go over here, and this is 3.2 millimeters. Okay. Um, we're going to, I, I just like to kind of rotate this a little bit when I extrude. Um, we are extruding it uh, 2 uh, bricks thick. So that is 7.8 plus 7.8. So that is 15.6 millimeters. Um, so we now have essentially the uh, plate done. We just need to go back and add the studs. Um, so with this linear pattern tool, this is extremely helpful for things like this. Um, so we're going to create a sketch on the new, uh, on the top face right here. Uh, and we're going to draw a circle. And again, you can really start anywhere. Um, I'll just kind of start in this top right-hand corner. And we know from our dimension sheet that our studs are 4.8 millimeters in diameter. Um, and we need to create a lot of these. So again, instead of sitting there and creating, you know, circle, 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 dimensioning all of them, dimensioning them to the sides, there's a really neat tool. Um, so I'm going to create a 4.8 millimeter circle, and I'm only going to dimension this one. So I'll go from center point to the top, and we know that that is 3.9 millimeters, and I'll go from the center point to the side, and we know that is 3.9 millimeters. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my linear pattern tool, and I'm going to select my circle, all right? So we'll notice that it's actually going in two different directions, which is awesome, but for us, they're actually going in the wrong directions. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my arrow right here and I'm going to move this to the other side. Um, I can actually change my uh, dimension from center point to center point. We know that that is uh, 7.8. Since it's going this way, I think we have to type negative 7.8. Okay, we do. And then also we can say how many circles we want. So we need a total of eight and that's going to go all the way down here. So that looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to grab our top arrow as well. And we're going to bring this down. Okay. And again, we're going to say, what is it from center point to center point? We have 7.8. Um, I think since we dragged it down, we might have to type in negative 7.8. We do. And so now when I, uh, you know, click enter here, I will have all of these little guys drawn and I really only had to dimension the one. So we'll say finish sketch. There are all of my circles now. Um, so we're going to go to extrude. Um, and then I can just now come here and I can click on every single little stud that I have. And we are going to extrude these out. 1.7 millimeters. So we're going to go to here. 1.7 millimeters. Our studs are all now dimensioned in the correct spot. And then, of course, the last step that we're going to do is we're going to go to shell. We're going to click on our bottom. And we now know that this is 1.2 millimeters. And again, you don't have to type millimeters if you've already changed your document settings. Um, so there is our piece right there. Uh, obviously, as you can see, that linear pattern tool um, saves us a lot of time when creating a lot of the same shapes. So that is how we use the linear pattern tool.